Right, before you attempt your next speed, you might like to have a look at some of these words that you've um, had in the passage. Now just a little bit of a revision. We had that little not before instead of writing N-O-T or N-T. It can also be used to um, be the opposite of a word. So here we've got we will not be able to using the not and you've got space either side of the not. Now if you want to write the word unhappy or the opposite to happy, you can put the little knot really close to the HPY and that becomes unhappy. It can also be used for things like, uh, that would be regular, RG lure. If we put a little knot or negative in front of it, it can become irregular. So it's not always un, it can just mean the opposite to the other word. Adopt it if you like it, it's not um, a necessary, it's an optional extra really. Um, determined in the passage, make sure you remember to disjoin the D from the tur, otherwise it's just going to look like a, a double line D, so determined. Especially is quite a hard word, you've got special, SP shul, and then we've got especially. You must write the E because it begins the word, with, um, the word begins with the E, and then the shilly, you've just got your little tick, Y tucked on the end. So E S P Shilly. Tick it upwards because that way you're going to be able to see it. Some of you may have written international like this, I N T U R national. Now remember, in T U R can also be a word ending. So we can have I T U R, meaning that the I N T we can miss out the N. So we have international. And over here we've got a beautiful word, remembering the big N can also be non um, or nation, so non-professional. So we've got a non, then you've got a prur, so just write the P, F, S, shinal. If I do it again, you've got non, pro, fish, shinal. Shinal as a word ending.